Hello again, it's Handmade by Shirley. Welcome back to my channel. So I got this lovely new press cut um, in 3D embossing folder today and I've already made a couple of cards with it and I thought I'd come on and show you how I did it. So it's turned out really lovely. That's a bit squint now when I look at it on the card. But I popped in some distress oxides a couple of times and then this is what it brought and then I cut it into these shapes so it's really quite pretty so I think I'll do something similar again and I'll show you how I did it so pop that to the side and this is the press cut die it die not die I'm so used to with die the press cut um poppies I believe it is um embossing folder and I got these from the craft stash so there's some lovely things on the craft stash and I decided to come become a VIP member and that just means that you get various sort of um, you get 10% um, off any products you buy and there's something some delivery, you get so many deliveries, um, which I think are slightly cheaper than what they would be if you weren't a member. Anyway, I'm not trying to promote them at all, I just wanted to see. So I bought as well some lovely linen card from the stockist that Christine Stokes um, had, um, uses, Syngento I think it is. And um, but I'll put all of that into the description bar. So I've made a card base which is six by six. So I just had a, it was an A4 A4 piece. I scored it in the middle and then cut it into six by six. Um, no, actually it's not quite six by six. It's a bit less actually. It's five and three quarters squared. This piece is six by six, but I'll be cutting that down. So what I did with the, um, I've lost it, where is it? Oh, it's under my card. <laughs> so what I did with this was I found the embossed side because I, I, had, I had a lot of these um, backgrounds that I did the other day with the alcohol mica sprays and I did do a video but I thought I had uploaded it but I didn't with some alcohol inks as well so anyway you get my drift so that was all the nice apart from that wasn't very nice that one um backgrounds that I made and they really turned out pretty nice um but I I did use this um embossing folder just to try and see what it would look like but you can't really see the actual thing it depends what way you put you know you put the card you can kind of see it but not looking really straight on at it so then I decided oh I don't think I'll use that so I put those to the side I will do something with them I'm sure I'm just not sure what so and then I thought, no, I need to do something else that's simple and fun. Um, so first of all, what I did was I put it, I need to find if that is the actual, I think that's the wrong way now. I think that's the right way. I'm sure it is. Let me just see. Probably got it the debossed way. Bear with me, I'll just check and then I'll be right back. So I've come back and I found out that that was actually the deboss side which I had on. So this is the embossing side. So I'm going to pop it back through because I didn't give it, I usually give it an extra run through. So I'll pop that back through and hope for the best. And then we will actually do this technique what I was doing before. I just wanted to show you it, what it was like without the technique. It's really pretty. So you could use that whole piece or you could, you know, cut it into 
sections or whatever. So that's what it looks like and it's really, really, really pretty. So I'll pop that to the side and I will cut myself another piece of paper. Oh no, I've got a piece here, but I will need to cut it. So I'll just cut that to... Did I see the card was? It was five and a three quarters, did I see? Let's just check. Here it is. Five and three quarters. So I need to make it... Did I see five and three quarters? Just checking. Uh, not quite. So if I make this just below five and a half, just one eighth below five and a half. So there we go. So let's do what I did to make this. Nice. I'm, I'm sure you probably know how to do this, but I just thought I'd, I'd come on and yeah, that fits in okay there. So let's just get our. Um, so I want to now put the color onto this part here. So I used um, I used. Savage Bettina Forest Moss for the green and I also used um, Broken China but this time I think I'm going to use some Wilted Violet and Dusty Concord this time just for a change so I just got my blending brush and I just went in various bits of the florals hope you can see that I'm sure you can just bits and bobs here and there don't know if you can see I might just put this underneath so you can see what I'm doing. That's a bit better, isn't it? And a little bit here. And then I've popped it in like that. And then put it through my sandwich for a 3D because it is a 3D embossing folder. I did put a shim in the last time which I might just do. I don't know if I've got one here. Put one of these in and that will be a shim. I'll just take it back out because it wasn't quite getting the pressure it really needed I didn't think anyway. So I'll just pop it shim in, put it back through, yeah that's better, I can feel the difference and then bring it out and just see what we have so you can see that I has got a bit of the colour but not very much of it so we can go in again with that colour and we can actually put some of the wilted violet on as well. So I'm going in much more around the kind of edges. And there's a few wee kind of buds as well, which I try to remember to pop some ink on. But it's a really lovely um, embossing folder, I really do like it. So, oh, I didn't put any up here, did I? Just put them back there. So, back through, it should still be in exactly the same place as it was before. It shouldn't have moved. Hopefully, and 
and then back to okay. Let's see what we've got this time. It's made any yeah, it's quite nice. It's made a bit more of an impression. Um I think we probably could do a wee bit more though. So let me see if I've got any other kinds of any other purpley let's put just put a wee bit more of the um violet on we'll put it all over this area all around the flowers Perhaps I've gone wrong by not sort of spritzing the card first because sometimes that can help to break down the fibres and I didn't actually do that. So mm, perhaps I'm just going over the whole thing now. I was going to leave these white but I decided just to kind of go over it all now and then let's try it again. Put that little bit of shim in. Is it? Oh, it's there. <laughs> it's there. A bit of shim in and just make sure that's in. And then pop that through again and we'll just go through twice. Forward and then back again. Not a thrice time. Let's we'll see where we are. Yeah, that's much better. That's much nicer, isn't it? So we could we could put some other colour on it as well. We could put um a little bit of blue or um let me see what else we've got. I don't want to put yellow on, I don't think. Let's put some speckled egg on it actually. That would be quite nice. We need to get a blue brush. So we'll just put, we'll just keep the purple on that side as well and I'll just mix in some speckled egg on top. Just see. You won't know unless you try it, so trying it is absolute fun. I've got a bit of purple on my um, ink pad, that will be okay. I'll just wipe it a bit with my... Right, let's try this and then let's make it into a card after that, or two cards as I did earlier. Oh, I didn't mean to shout there. Right, let's just do that. Right, let's just put that away now. Mm, didn't really make much more of the blue, but what I might do with this speckled egg here is just add and get another one that's not as blue. I've tried to keep all the brushes the same kind of in the same colour group but sometimes it's difficult to do that so we'll see if we can use this brush and just add a little bit on the top don't know whether that will really do much at all doesn't seem to be making much of a difference at all so we'll just take this out and see it has made a slight difference there so we'll pop that to the side I will clean that shortly 
but I will put a wee bit more of the speckle down. You can just slightly see it on the bottom as well. A wee bit here, a bit here. just to give it a variety of colour. Right, that'll do. So let's pop these away. Um, that away and that away. And let's just get this cleaned up because oh, especially with it being new, I don't want to leave it with ink on it. So I'm just giving it a good old clean. So I always like to clean up my products as I use them because I think that's what keeps them. So that's all clean now, I can pop that to the side. So, I've got my card base here. Now it's going to be far too big, is it not? No, it's not. It's going to fit. So you could do a card just like that with a um, sentiment on it. But I want to make actually make two cards. So... What I want to do is I do want to make a square card here. So I need to get my trimmer or I could use a die cut if I wanted. But I'm just going to trim it down this time. So um, I'm going to trim it to four, four by four. Quite thick, you see, so let's get it back to four. Just cut that there, it should come apart nice. So, this bit can be another card, and then I can turn it to four here. That could be something else if you wanted, just checking it's got the same at this side and at that side. Yeah, that seems fine, and then. I could put that straight in the middle and I've made a lovely card. So, before I do that though, I want to just add some gilding wax to it because I think silver and purple and stuff look nice with gilding wax. Now, I'm looking for my little mat that I usually have for doing stuff like that. I think I must have tidied it away because I can't see it on the desk. So I just have to be careful. So this is a very old gilding wax, but it's, you still get it by people. Oh no, yeah, people. I'm not sure it's people or people or what it is, but that's what it is. So I've got a tiny bit of my finger. Now usually I wouldn't put it straight on. I would dab it onto there. But I'm just going to take this across the top here. I think I do need a little bit more. And just skim over the top. Not going over the full thing. I'm just sort of hoping that it'll catch in some of the areas. So you can see it's caught on that bit there. Let's try another little bit. So I'm just doing it really, really hardly any pressure at all on it. Probably easier if I pop it down. I'll pop it down a bit so you can see it as well. So a tiny amount, as I say, I would usually pop it on the side, but I'll just pop it on the side of the the jar and just very lightly, hardly even touching the the paper at all, going over just so it catches some of the edges of that embossed area. Just a tiny bit more here and a wee bit over there, I think that's probably enough. I don't want to do too much, so you can just see where it's caught. And then I'll 
up and pop that onto there. And I think I will go around the edges with my finger. So just being really careful. I don't want to get too much on it either. But I do want to kind of see it. So this is part, you know, this is all about creating what you want and what makes you happy. Because after all, crafting is about, you know, making you feel good, making you happy, making you create you know, nice things that you enjoy creating and finding even ways of doing things that perhaps you thought, oh, I didn't, you know, you just came across it because you were you were making something and you thought, oh, found a, a better way to do something or, it's easy, you know, it's easier for me to do it this way. Um, and that's really how you can kind of Come across these um, things and just experimenting is really the way that you find out. So just, just going round a very, so dragging my finger down the way, just on that edge, just to get a tiny bit of embossing wax, not embossing wax, gilding wax even, not putting too much on. There we go. So that when you put it on to that card, just to get another bit of this out of the bin. I put it in the bin, but I probably shouldn't have um, put my finger covered in embossing wax now. But that's okay, because that's the fun of it, isn't it? So that will just give, when I pop this on to the paper, won't be so stark on the on the on the white so you can see it's not quite as stark so let's just stick that on um, I mean this you could have cut I, I could have cut that up into four tiny little squares and then you know put it on my card like that that's just an idea or I could have put a frame within a frame with you know, one of the flowers in the, in the middle, cut them out and put it in the middle, something like that. I do not want to get that on my card, but so just kind of hopefully finding a middle there. So hopefully it's straightish, but it does, it just makes a really lovely effect, I think. And 3D embossing folders tend to do a nicer job. There's nothing wrong with the normal embossing folders. They do lovely jobs as well. But I just think the 3D embossing folder kind of does give that extra dimension. So that's one card. Now I'm going to actually... My chair is squeaking. I'm going to find a nice one of these um, stick-on um, coats to put on, if I can. What time are we at? 23 minutes. That's okay. It's not too long. <laughs> I, I, I keep saying, oh, I'm going to make these, these videos shorter. But then I never seem to. <laughs> well, I'm having fun, so as long as you're having fun watching as well. So let me see. Um, let me see. I'm trying to find out. Um, I don't know. What about just smile? Smile. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I know it's a tiny little word. I could just pop that straight in the middle there. And again, I'm going to pop glue on it because it does have a, a self-adhesive background but a backing on it even. But it can still sometimes come off. So that's that first card. So that can go there. And I've got this piece left. So I could make that into a bookmark if I wanted to. Or something like that. But um, 
I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it into a card as well. So I need to find a bit of um, backing for it. So I've got a couple of pieces here. So let's just see which would look good. Which is this smaller? No, I think I'll just go for this. Let's just clean this up a bit, this area. And then I will need to cut a piece for my card base because I don't have one. So I'm going to score this one at four. And then I'm going to cut, fold it in half. Cut it at four. And then I'm just going to see what sort of size we've got here. I'm not going to use obviously the full four. Now that looks like it is going to be roughly six and a half. So four by six and a half this time, because the other one I made was four by six. Put that arm away because we don't need that. And then we could pop that on the top like so. Now I would have done it long ways, but I feel the flowers, I mean I could, but I feel the flowers are... You know, I could have done that that way. No. So this measures, the actual piece measures just under one and a quarter. Oh, sorry, one and a half. So I'm going to make it one and just... See what's, I'm going to make the white layer one and a half. See if I've got this right because I just want a tiny little oh, I think I've cut it too short let's get that other piece <laughs> it's always good to have scraps you know so let's just cut it to just over one and a half so like a cut about two eighths over one and a half and then See, I don't measure these. I always just eyeball things. I've always, always done that. Um, and then this piece at the bottom, we'll just chop a wee bit off. That was a um, just an inch over five and half. So I will put these measurements, as always, in the description box. So. Just pop it on there and that looks fine. And then that can go that way in the middle, like so. And yeah, I could have made them into four little squares. Will I do that? Will I do that? Let's do that. Let's just do that. I said that the last time. So, if that measures... Just there, right? Let's see. So, if I do one there, and then make this kind of similar size, one there. So, what I've did was I've cut out my first square and then I've basically matched it up to cut out my second one and then I'll do the same with my third so that's how I'm going to try and get them all the same size like so did that work that one didn't quite cut let's try it again let's get my scissors till I trim that bit off Right, so I've got three pieces there now. So I could chop these three bits um, into 
like I could drop the three pieces of paper underneath the same but I'm not going to do that so I'll just place them on where they would have gone so um, just let me see if it went like that did it or have I got it wrong <laughs> have I got it upside down I mean I don't have to put it exactly how it was I don't suppose I think it was that way so it can just go down like that so let's just pop those on so first one going on to here just trying to keep it flush level with the top and then what I'll do is I will pop the bottom one on so that then I know that I've got the spacing right for the one in the middle. So. There we go. And then let's just put this one on now in the middle. Probably could have bring these down a bit, but it is what it is now, isn't it? I guess. I mean, I suppose I could actually cut these up the middle just with the scissors. Let's just try that one. And. Ooh, yeah, cool. Right, let's get them fixed on. I didn't put any gilding wax, that was fine because I wasn't really planning to do that anyway. So, let's see. I've just had an idea of what I could actually do doing it, doing it this way, landscape way, instead of doing it. I could put them that way, couldn't I? I'm trying to put them as much in the middle of that part as I could. Probably should have put that there. Probably right in slightly. I'm looking at that outside edge here and then pop this middle one on into the middle there that was a bit of creativity wasn't it so just try, I think I've got that round the wrong way actually let's put these that way yep There we go. So yeah, that is a bit of creativity. And then let's just find one more um, nice um, thing, wording, and we're going to do be kind, I think. Be kind. It's always good to be kind if we can, isn't it? So why don't we pop that just down here in between. I think that's nice. Why I've got that one there. Oh dear. <laughs> Get that away. There we go. And that's my technique with the embossing folder done in a couple of different ways. Um, so thanks for watching. I will be back. I'm going to also be doing um, the Gummy of Pan mystery bag, which will be coming to me very soon. So um, I hope you'll join me for 
the mystery bag as well. Um, and as I say, thanks for joining me and don't forget to like, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.